Hello everyone, my name is James Ryan. I'm recording a quick video today just to show you how to do a quick bit of kind of discovery troubleshooting on Windows systems. Now often I get people emailing me asking there's a setting I'd like to change and I'd like to change it on all of my Windows systems, maybe thousands of them. Do you know a group policy object or a registry key I can use to enforce this setting? Now in some cases, I do know the group policy setting or registry key that's involved, or you can find it with a quick bit of Googling, or you know you can look through the available group policy objects or Intune items if you're using Intune, and find the policy you're looking for. But sometimes it can be quite difficult to track it down. It could be in computer config or user config, there is an Excel spreadsheet available from Microsoft that tells you all of the policy settings, but it's difficult looking through that to try and find them. So I'm just going to show you a quick way you can actually find it out for yourself by doing a quick bit of uh, process monitoring. So if I move across to here, I have, um, I'll have i demonstrate this on a Windows 10 machine, but you could do this on literally just about any modern version of Windows, in fact some very old version of Windows. So let's just log on to this Windows 10 machine and show you a quick example of a setting that you might want to change this for. As I said there are many many settings that people, you know, especially when a new version of Windows comes along, something about it looks a bit different and they think I'd like to turn that off or I'd like to change that or I'd like to switch a default view or something like that. Now a common one I do come across is if you go into Windows and start up File Explorer, by default, since Windows 10, I think, possibly a bit earlier, um, it opens up at the top here, you see, in this quick access view, yeah? And a lot of, sometimes people say to me, how can I open that up, for instance, in this PC view? So it opens up down here, rather than actually in the quick access view. It's a complete matter of sort of personal preference. Some people want to enforce that. This is just an example, as I'm saying. This video is not about this. It's about showing you how to find a setting. Now, through the interface yourself, you can click on View and go to Options, Change Folder and Search Options. And you say right here, it says Open File Explorer to Quick Access. You can change it to this PC. But how do you then deploy that change for every single user? You know, you, you, you might not want to have them follow instructions to change that. You might want to deploy it as a setting for them all. So I'll just show you a quick way you can find out what it is. If you go onto the big wide internet out there and try and run Chrome, obviously Chrome's not even installed on this machine, which is rather embarrassing. So let's just type in the Google address there. And be forced to use Edge. So if I type in here, if you go and download a tool called Process Monitor, which is written by Mark Rasinovich, who you probably know is a really, really um, well-respected guy dealing with Windows internals. Download Process Monitor. You should have this in your toolkit anywhere. So let's just open that up. And then extract it. And I'll pop it in the System32 folder just so I can access it directly from the path. Okay, so we have Process Monitor, it's now in the System32 folder, so we can literally just run it. In fact, you can literally go to the run command and type in the name of it, which is Procmon, and it will launch. Click on Agree, first time you run it, and Process Monitor, once you accept the USA prompt, is now running, and it's capturing everything that's going on on the machine. Now obviously this gets very busy very quickly, so I'll turn off the event capture, and as you can see, this is everything that's happened on the machine in that few seconds period. Then click on File, uh, sorry, not File. If you click on Edit and Clear Display, that will clear out the history of that because we want to capture as small a uh, point in time as possible. So let's just turn that back down to there. Now let's go back into File Explorer and let's just move these out here. And let's go to the place where we know we can change that setting. Now before we change that setting, and whatever setting you're doing, it doesn't have to be this setting, it can be any setting that you're trying to find the, you know, the config item for. Click on File, click on Capture Events, so it's now capturing, and very quickly make the change, OK, so it's now committed, and go and stop capturing the events. So now, somewhere in this mass of output from Process Monitor, 
is a change to a registry care and file system item that enforces that change for the user so that it now sticks. So all I normally do is click on filter and go to filter, change this to operation, uh, the condition is is, and change this to reg set value because they're normally registry keys, not exclusively, but pretty much you'll find that registry keys are what controls this. Click add. So now we're going to filter out everything apart from things that have operation reg set value and we'll include it. Click on OK and you'll now see this is the entirety of the registry keys that have been set when we performed the actions that we did during that capture. Now, I'm pretty used to doing this, but straight away I can see something there that is jumping out at me. Obviously, because it's a user setting, we had anticipate it would be HK current user, so we could filter this down further, but there's only this many things have been changed, and the one that's pretty obvious to me is sat here, right in the middle, HK current user, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, Explorer, advanced, launch to sounds pretty much like a smoking gun so you need to make a note of that and you also need to make a note of the type that it was this was a d word value and what the data was set to data was set to one so what this is in the part this path here and we'll make a note of them in a little notepad window because this will help us out so let's grab that and pop that in there and it's a D word value as we can see in there, reg D word. Should we put reg D word? That's the correct word for it. And the value is one, right? So that's what we've found out. That's the item that was changed. So we now know if we change that for all users as they log on, we should be able to enforce that. So you can easily use a group policy preference to do this. So if I just hop across to my domain controller here, and I'm already in Group Policy Management, and I'm on the OU where that machine happens to sit. So I'll just create, create a GP on this domain and link it here. Um, and we'll give it a name of um, change file explorer default view. Pop that in there. So then if we edit this Group Policy object, if we go into User Configuration, Preferences, Windows settings and registry. Click new registry item. Change that to replace. We know that the key one is HK current user. There's the path we can just literally copy and paste that into there. The value name is, oops, it's the one off the end there, is launch. Oops. Range two, so don't forget to take that bit off the end. It's a D word value, and we want it set to one. So then, if we click OK on that, we can see the value of launch two. It's going to be a D word value. It's going to be set to one. That's the key. It's going to go in. It's going to count user, etc., etc., etc. So that is now applied. So we know that. I don't need to save that. We're logged on as an admin user to this machine, so we know that it's going to be set for that user because we've manually changed it. So if we were to sign out and sign back in as a different user, we should hopefully see that it opens up straight away to that setting that we selected. So let's just log in as a different user, a test user. Let's just try that again. Somebody forgot to configure his DNS correctly. So if we log on now, this test account successfully this time. Finally get logged on. Should hopefully see if we open File Explorer, the setting that we chose to apply by pulling it out of Process Monitor should be the default that we get within here. Let's quickly 
click on it and yeah it's defaulted to this PC this time so the setting that we chose we can now apply that setting is actually an interesting one to use because there isn't an equivalent group policy object for it so if you want to do that you have to do it but anyway any setting that you find that you want to apply it on a global basis easiest way to find out what it is if you can't find it in GPOs or Intune something like that run process monitor set the setting find the reg key or file system item whatever it is and then apply that using group policy quick caveat to note obviously if you're doing what I'm doing and you're applying user policies based around the location of the machine in group policy don't forget to configure loopback processing as well otherwise it won't work but there you go that's a quick little troubleshooting tip that I, that I thought I'd share with you thank you